Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today, yes, uh, MDT 2013 video, uh, and it's actually brought to you by this particular user that commented on one of my MDT 2013 uh, dealing with WDS and deploying operating systems. Uh, he ha he's having a little bit of issue of uh, importing multiple operating systems and getting the option to pick which operating system he wants to deploy on his machine. So let's get started. And within my MDT deployment workbench, I already have one operating system already imported in its Windows 8.1 Pro 64 bit. I'm going to right click on my operating system node, create a new folder. This is really up to you if you guys want to do this. I'm going to do Windows 10 x64 bit and next next and finish awesome uh, I'm gonna right click go to import operating system and from here I'm gonna go to next I'm gonna pick my source directory which I already mounted my ISO within my virtual machine and it should be the D drive and I'm gonna press OK click on next I'm gonna leave it as the destination name this is the summary You're gonna hit next and it normally takes between three to five minutes it shouldn't take that long once it's done uh, we're going to get into how to see this operating system as well as the one that I already had during your deployment time. Okay, so we're back. The process has completed successfully. Awesome. So our Windows 1064 bit deployed, uh, not actually deployed, but imported, no problem with our MDT server. So that's awesome. So let's hit finish. So the next thing that you need to do is this. This is the key element right here. Every time you import a new operating system inside your operating system node, you need to create a task sequence. Easy, right? So let's go inside a task sequence. I already have one for my 8.1. I'm going to right click my task sequence node and create a new folder. Uh, if you guys have been tuning in with me, I love creating folders just to keep myself nice and organized. And we're going to click next on that. Next. And finish. And once our new folder is in there, we're going to right click new task sequence. And let's give it a crazy name. Doesn't The IDs really depend on you and your work environment or what kind of sequence or what kind of best practice you're doing with the task sequence ID. Now give it a task sequence name. I'm going to go Windows 1064 uh, TS. Now task sequence, let's do task sequence. Now the name is what you're going to see during your deployment environment time. Okay, When you pixie boot, this is the name that you're going to see. We're going to click on next and it's going to be a standard client task sequence. You're going to hit next on that. And this is where you pick your operating system. Uh, again, each task sequence only has one operating system that's being deployed, right? You can't deploy multiple operating systems with one task sequence, okay? Every time you import an operating system inside your MDT, you need to create a task sequence for that particular um, operating system. So let's pick uh, the consumer one. Let's hit next. This is up to you. If you don't have a product key, you can leave it as is. If you have a uh, KMS server on your infrastructure that's uh, pushing out these keys to your machines once they're part of your network, good for it. If not, if you have a MAK key, enter it now. I'm not going to do it for now, so I'm going to hit next. Uh, operating system settings. So the name is going to be, uh, let's go to BJ Tech News. Organization is BTNHD for BJ Tech News High Def. And the website, this would be your company's website. So this is for me, bjtechnews.org. And we're going to click next. Now you're going to give it a local administrative account. Now this local administrative account, make sure you keep a note of it because you never know when you need to log into this machine locally as an admin. So let's click on next on that. Click next. Process is really fast, real simple. Hit finish and that's it. So what we're going to do is right click our deployment share. Every time you guys do like a major change like this, update your deployment share. Always uh, update the deployment, hit next, hit next, and let it do its thing. What I'm going to do is minimize my virtual machine. And now I'm within my host environment. So I'm going to go to computer, go to my D drive, go to my VMs, and I'm going to create a new folder called temp because I'm going to create a virtual machine in Pixie Boot. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks. So let's go back into my virtual machine. And we're going to hit finish. Awesome. Uh, next thing that we need to do is because I'm deploying it with WDS and he's also deploying with WDS, uh, let's open up our WDS. And what I like to do, this is my best practice. I don't think you really need to do it, but I like to do it. 
I like to go into my boot images and just replace the ones that I have and let's right click on my 86 and replace the image and go to browse now where you're going to get these pixie boot images is you're going inside your deployment share in the boot um, folder and I'm replacing the 86 with the 86 just to make sure it has a brand new clean fresh WIM image if you made any major changes most likely the WIM image that you have in your deployment share folder needs to be updated within the WDS so I'm gonna click next 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 it's real fast replacing it once it replaces it we're gonna do the same thing with the 64 it's that easy once we do that with the 64 bit uh, what I like to do is restart our WDS and once we restart the WDS uh, if it goes well and is back up and running that's awesome that's a good thing right now I'm doing the 64 bit I'm gonna click on next 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 it's one of those things that I love to do just best practice in my eyes uh, as you can see on the 86 bit it uh, or the 32 bit the date has changed to 1213 so that's awesome so that means I got a fresh new boot image uploaded to my WDS awesome so I'm gonna hit finish on that awesome so right now I'm gonna right click on my WDS uh, server go to all tasks and I'm just gonna do a restart cross the fingers hopefully it goes back up online awesome so I'm gonna hit OK so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to file new virtual machine and I'm gonna go next and yep and we are going to pick a Windows let's pick Windows 8 because Windows 8 and Windows 10 is the same thing uh, we're gonna click next let's give it a name uh, BJ dash temp and I am going to paste that location because I want to drop it in there I'm going to give it a small little size don't really need a huge file because I'm not deploying anything I'm just going to show you guys how the environment looks with your multiple um, operating systems click finish awesome and let's hit start and I'm going to click like a man man F12 so I can get into my pixie boots F12 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 there it goes F12 F12 there it goes all right we're back uh, finally my MDT has finally pixie boot into the environment for me to start the, the deployment time stuff so I'm gonna run the deployment wizard right now and I've been lazy real lazy to even customize my custom settings I and I file because again if you guys have seen previous videos I'll show you guys how to customize and automate all this but I haven't had the chance to do that I don't know why it's weird so let me just log in real quick for you guys so I can get into my deployment share and we can start the deployments make sure everything is spelled correctly press OK uh, if everything goes well which it is awesome it's gonna start the process and there you go there goes your operating systems again uh, if you deploy multiple operating systems, each operating system that you're deploying inside your operating system node has to have its own task sequence that doesn't mean if you customize your task sequence for 8.1 the settings or the customization that you did for that task sequence is not going to trickle down into your 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 other deploy your other operating systems you have to customize each task sequence individually and that's it and that's it guys this is how you deploy multiple operating systems using MDT 2013 as well as WDS hopefully you guys enjoy if you have any comments and concerns leave it at the bottom of the video at the comment section also, don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support this guy as well as it supports the video. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.